The first metacarpal bone is located in the wrist. The scatter plot below shows the relationship between the length of the first metacarpal bone and the height for nine people. The line of best fit is also shown. Which of the following is the best interpretation of the slope of the line of best fit in the context of this problem? So let's first figure out what the slope is, it would be for this. So it's going to be the change in y over the change in x, the rise over the run. But what do those quantities represent? Well, the change in y is the change in the height. And the change in x is the change in the length of the metacarpal bone. So let's go to the choices and see what we have. Uh, which of the following is the best interpretation of the slope? A, the predicted height increase in centimeters for one centimeter increase in the first metacarpal bone. Yeah, so let's say the slope of this ends up being 3. This will be 3 centimeters per centimeter, right? Centimeters of height and centimeters of length. So notice, yeah, for every inch, for every run of one, basically, of one unit, we're going to have a certain rise. We'll start over here. For every run of one unit, we're going to have a rise of m units, whatever it turns out to be the slope, uh, that corresponds with that increase in one. So this does make sense because it is going to be the height increase for a particular change in the x value, right? It's the change in the y for every change in x. So that looks pretty solid. The predicted first metacarpal bone increase in centimeters for every centimeter increase in height. No, this is inverted. We are showing how the height will change when we change the metacarpal bone. That's what this is going to show. The predicted height in centimeters of a person with a first metacarpal bone length of zero centimeters. No, that is not the slope. That would be more, I suppose, the y-intercept, y -intercept, but that has nothing to do with the slope. The predicted first metacarpal bone length in centimeters for a person with a height of zero centimeters. That would be the x-intercept, which is not even shown here, but not relevant to the slope. So the only choices really here are A and B, and you'll go with A because that shows the right order, that it's height over metacarpal bone. It's height per change in metacarpal bone. Continuing on with this set of questions based on this picture, the best fit line, um, interesting part of this one, and it's something I've seen other stuff that they're working on, is understanding what the slope is, not just knowing how to calculate it, right, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, delta y over delta x, rise over run, not knowing just how, not just knowing how to calculate a quantitative answer, but also a qualitative understanding of what the slope represents, again, in a real-life example. So in these questions, we're focusing on this biology anatomy thing, and we need to know how does the slope actually apply to some relationship between two real quantities. So definitely want to know just not just how to find the slope, which is of course important, but also what it means, what it represents. And this question tests that directly.